Hey everyone, I just want to give you a quick word of encouragement, how that freedom comes from within. If you're facing some relationship problems, if you're facing some circumstances that look impossible or hard, what our Father first wants to do is to produce His life in you from within, to produce His love and joy and peace and goodness and kindness. You know, freedom doesn't come by our circumstances lining up all how we would like, because that's not really freedom at all. That means that everything in this world would have to go okay. Okay. And God says, your hope is in me. Jesus said, I am your hope. So I know when I'm looking to the circumstance to be just perfectly for me, for me to be okay, I know that I've gotten my eyes off Jesus. And I say, help me, Jesus. Show me the truth you know I need to see. Show me. And he always lovingly, kindly captivates my heart, captivates my eyes, gets my eyes back to him. And he produces his peace in me. He produces his love in me and his joy and contentment and long suffering. Because if you have situations in, let's say, relationships that, you know, the other person, things are going on, and I used to pray, God, fix them, or God, help them stop acting that way so I'll be okay, and what Jesus showed me is that he produced his life in me. He helped me to love them and see them that they're innocent and beautiful and under a wrong persuasion, and he healed the places in my heart that perhaps their words uh, were itching hurts and lies in my heart, and so what he did was produce freedom in me. So that now when I look at that person and I see that relationship, I feel it's healed because I can love them out of how God first loves me. So I want to encourage you that freedom comes within. It's never going to be, oh, I need this and then I'll be okay. Because then we know we've gotten our eyes off Jesus and just say, Jesus, I don't even know what this looks like if you come in. But let me tell you, any places in your life that you feel are dead, that is a magnet for God's resurrection, life, and power. Because God raised a dead man. He raised a dead man. Now, had all of our sin and sickness and the, he had all of it and he raised them into immortal flesh so nothing's too hard for him in any places in your life in relationships in your heart that feel dead guess what his specialty is resurrection life so just say father talk to him about it say father please help me help me to see like you help me to love like you i can't do it because that's what he said he said you can't do it you know we are the vine he is the branch or we're the branch and he is the vine. You know what I mean in John. He says, we can do nothing of ourselves. So I just want to encourage you that he is a God of resurrection. Nothing's too hard for him. And it's all by grace, his divine influence upon our hearts, that he resurrects all those places within us that produce his life and his freedom. So have a great day and know you're loved and prayed for and just talk to him about it. He loves to hear your heart. And that's called casting your cares when you talk to him about it. So have a great day and know you're loved and prayed for and all those dead places are a magnet for resurrection life. Have a good night and know we love you.